Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about the Arduino Nano based digital clock and we had used uh, one uh, four digit uh, seven segment display module uh, made with the TM1637 chip and uh, also we use two push buttons for adjusting the hour and minutes uh, the middle push button is not used and uh, DS3231 RTC module and uh, Arduino Nano um, and if we look at the wiring diagram here is the wiring diagram for this circuit uh, the clock pin of this uh, TM1637 display module is connected to the A3 pin of Arduino Nano and DIO pin is attached with the D3 pin of Arduino Nano and SCL SDA is attached with the A6 and A5 and two push buttons are connected with the pin A2 and A1. Uh, two 10k resistors are used for pull up purposes so whenever uh, we are uh, there is a no push button we can read a positive on the pins. So these are the wiring diagrams for uh, digital clock let's move to the coding part and we need two uh, header files uh, one is ds3231.h header file and tm1637 display.h header file these two libraries are used for using the uh, display module and rtc module rest let's first initialize the rtc on sda and scl after that we need to initialize the display module and we are going to initialize on a3 and digital free pin uh, dio is attached with the d3 pin and clock is attached to the a3 pin and we are passing uh, these two pins to the uh, constructor of segment 7 display uh, this is a, a instance of dm1637 display class so we can use the sec7 display as an instance for this class and we can display all the readings on the display the next thing we are going to define are over two push buttons we are using a1 and a2 pins for adjusting the hour and minutes for the digital clock the next thing we are going to define these three variables uh, mr and minutes for reading the minutes and hour from the rtc and crunch time integer to mix up a uh, min minute and hour as a single integer to display on the uh, seven segment the next thing we are going in the setup and we are going to initialize the switches as an input after that we will begin the rtc and the seven segment display brightness on 0x0f we are also going to use a time data structure for uh, saving our time after we read from the RTC this is how we can read from the RTC dot get time function and it will uh, place a time data structure and we can read that on into our T variable we can get minute and R from our T data structure T dot R and T dot mean like this now we have our R's in 23, uh, 24 R format in MR uh, variable and minutes in M minutes variable. We are going to mix these two variables into a single integer so that we can display on the sound segment module. There are a number of functions for displaying the decimal on the uh, TM1637 display module, but we are going to use a show number deck ex function and we are passing an integer and zero for not displaying the colon at first and true and four because we need uh, to display four digits and zero the trailing zeros so we are using segment uh, sec 7 display instance and the show number deck x extended function to display the value uh, or the time on the 7 segment display module our next main task is to blink the colon every 500 milliseconds and for that we are going to use these two variables pre milliseconds to uh, record the lapse of the milliseconds and blink status is a number of a bit mask uh, hexadecimal number uh, to enable the colon on the TM1637 display the next thing 
we move into the loop function and create this if statement which will uh, read the current milliseconds and subtract pre previous milliseconds uh, from the current milliseconds and if the result is greater than 499 milliseconds which is 500 milliseconds it will toggle the colon as well as save the pre uh, the update the pre milliseconds variable for blinking uh, the colon we will check the blink status if the blink status is 0 we will change the blink status to 0x40 and if the blink status is uh, uh, not uh, 0 which will means that it is a 0x40 we will force it to the uh, 0 like this so now we uh, if we flash this blink status to our display module it will blink the column but before blinking this column will also read uh, the uh, time from the rtc every second once we are ready to uh, flash over uh, time to the display or the column we, we can use this function here the next thing is to update uh, the time and for that we'll read two buttons like uh, sw1 is equal to low and we'll plus the r and if the r is greater than 23 we'll uh, go back to the zero and uh, we'll update the current time variable and uh, we'll change the display accordingly and we'll uh, force the pre milliseconds to zero and uh, we use the set time function with the updated r and minutes variables and uh, with this line we are just uh, checking our key release and uh, until the key is pressed we are just taking the delay and doing nothing and uh, once the key is released we'll uh, go back down and uh, if if the switch 2 is passed we'll update the minutes and if the minutes are greater than 59 we'll uh, make the minutes to zero and we'll update the current time integer function again and display on the seven segment module and we'll force the pre milliseconds to zero and we'll set the time with the updated r in minutes and in this case only the minutes will be updated finally we'll check a debouncing delay and we'll wait for the switch 2 to release and uh, unless it is released we are just keeping the delay so that's the all fun uh, code for the digital clock made with the Arduino Nano we can uh, uh, save this and uh, flash this on to the um, Arduino Nano uh, digital clock so let's upload this code on to the Arduino and see how it runs Finally, this is how it runs in my uh, code and we update the R and uh, here the R will be updated and uh, once we done with the R updation, we can uh, switch back to the minutes updating and we press the button and the minutes will be updated. That's all for today's uh, tutorial. Uh, see you in the next one. Thank you.